Hi students, I am Kakarla Krishna Kishore, Mechanical Engineer. In this session, we are going to discuss the classification of materials. In mechanical engineering, the material science plays a significant role. As a mechanical engineer, it is necessary to understand the classification of materials, material properties, and selection of materials for engineering purpose. Selecting a suitable material based upon the condition of operation and machinability and many other factors is also a big task. Let's get into the subject of classification of materials. In material science engineering, the materials classified into the following categories, metals, polymers, ceramics, and composite. There are sub-classification for these categories are also available. Follow this T diagram to understand the sub-classification of the materials. Now, first one, metals are sub-classified as ferrous and non-ferrous. Polymers are sub-classified as thermoplastics, thermosets, and elastomers. Ceramics are sub-classified as glasses and crystalline. Composites are sub-classified as metals, ceramics, and polymers, means metal matrix composites, ceramic composites, and polymer matrix composites. Before going to the details, it is necessary to understand the periodic table. Why the periodic table is necessary? Let me explain. You already know what do you mean by periodic table. The periodic table is tabulation of the chemical elements according to their atomic number and electronic configuration. Just observe the periodic table. If you observe, in this periodic table, all metals are listed on the left side and non-metals, means polymers, are listed on the right side of the table. Here, just observe the second slide. Here, in periodic table, if you observe carefully, out of 118 elements, 90 are metals only. Just observe carefully one more time. Out of 118 elements, 90 are metals only. Here, the examples are steel, iron, copper, aluminum, zinc, silver, lead, etc. So many metals are available which are very famous in our market. Now, here, these metals are further divided into ferrous and non-ferrous. So now let us discuss what do you mean by ferrous metal and non-ferrous metals. What is the mean by ferrous metal? What are the salient features of ferrous metal? Let me discuss like this. The first point is ferrous metals are rich in iron. Means the iron composition is very, very important and it is having maximum percentage in ferrous metals. Steel is the main constituent in ferrous metal. Various examples, if you observe, for the ferrous metals are cast iron, carbon steels, alloy steels, stainless steels, tool steels, and die steels. The second classification. That means next classification in metals are non-ferrous metals. These metals actually don't have the iron as the main composition. That is the main point to understand non-ferrous metals. For example, if you take the example aluminum, copper, these metals are not having ferrous. Lead, nickel, tin titanium and zinc. So these non-ferrous metals are very, very famous in the market and very much useful. 
if you observe aluminum aluminum is the most non ferrous metal which is abundantly available in the earth crust now observe what is happening in the industry in any industry in general ferrous and non ferrous metals are separated like this and if you observe inert materials are also collected here and here this is a technique that is concentric eddy current separator this is the technique they are using just observe this picture carefully ferrous metals are collected here non ferrous metals are collected here and inert metals are collected here now let us discuss the polymers what do you mean by polymers why polymers are very much important in the market now this is the second classification of materials that is non metals polymers that means the other name of the polymers is non metals if you observe carefully non metals are occupy the right side portion of the periodic table here what do you mean by polymer or non metal non metal is referred to the chemical elements which are volatile insulated to heat and electricity and lack of the metallic attributes most of the non metals are gases only in the periodic table they are represented under polyatomic non metal diatomic non metal noble gases carbon phosphorus and sulfur like this so many non metals are observed here see the periodic table and so here if you observe carefully only non metals are very few just observe the periodic table all these are non metals only polymers mer means one unit polymer means many number of units get together now this is classified polymers are classified into the following groups that is thermoplastics thermo sets elastomers in this video i am just discussing classification so that's why i am not giving the detailed explanation of all these in the next coming video i will explain the total properties in this video i am concentrating on classification now the polymers are classified as thermoplastic thermosets and elastomers now let us discuss thermoplastic so what is thermoplastic and what is the difference between thermoplastic and thermoset a polymer that can become moldable to a specific heat then that gets solidified upon cooling are known as thermoplastic and the second salient feature is very very important so these thermoplastics can be remolded or reshaped many times as we want this is main feature for any thermoplastic so they are recyclable polymers please observe the two figures here these two figures shows how thermoplastic material behaves so that means even that is by giving specific heat and they will get solidify upon cooling and again we can utilize we can reshape remold it that is the main property of the thermoplastic now the second type is thermoset so what is thermoset and what is the difference between thermoplastic and thermoset so here these thermosets are polymers only but which are capable to resist to high temperature that is the main advantage of thermoset this is the main difference between thermoplastic and thermoset and the second main advantage of thermoset is once thermosets get hardened they will not be remolded or reshaped 
even though it looks like a disadvantage but it is the advantage for some materials so these are not capable to recycle this is the main feature of thermoset capable of resistance to the high temperature this is another feature of the thermoset so that means once it is formed we cannot able to recycle so this is the main feature of the thermo set if you can observe the various products of thermo set and thermo plastic the next type in polymers is elastomers what do you mean by elastomers is it a different polymer yes it is a different polymer compared to thermo set and thermo plastic the elastomer what do you mean by elastomer here please observe the definition the elastomer is a polymer that can be deformed under stress and regain its original shape when the stress is removed means if you remove the stress automatically it will regain its original shape simply we can say that polymer which is having an elastic property is called as the elastomer this is a simple definition for the elastomers now see the figures here these two figures shows how the elastomer works after removing of the load again it is getting into the original shape that is the main feature of the elastomer the next classification the third classification of materials is ceramics so what is ceramics what is the importance of the ceramics in the market here it is must to know about ceramics why because most of the houses are any advanced materials nowadays they are utilizing ceramics only without ceramics we could not think about houses now so that's why ceramic is very very important material in the market now let us discuss some salient features about ceramics ceramics are the inorganic and non metallic compounds examples suppose if you take the examples so most of the examples are plates tiles and toilets the so most of the toilets are built with ceramics only ceramic tiles and these are further classified if you observe the classification these are further classified as crystalline ceramics and glasses the best example of the ceramics is tiles only you already know what is the importance of the tile in our regular life now the next important material is composite material this is the last classification of the material the most trust area for research and most useful materials compared to any other material in the market is composite material only let us discuss the a few words about composite material what do you mean by composite material if you observe the definition a composite material is a material formed from two or more materials this sentence is important two or more materials to attain required properties like high strength with light in weight so exactly what do you mean by composite material so that means if you can form with two or more material but the important the main intention of the composite material is to produce high strength with light in weight that is the main intention example if you take the example the best example is plywood only you are seeing the plywood in our regular life most of the doors are made with plywood only so that is the main application of the composite material suppose if you observe the regular or the uh, so many uh, applications if you observe so many applications there are number of applications for the composite materials not only in single area in boeing three boeing uh, aeroplanes also almost 85% of the material is made with composite materials only 
Now, observe the classification here. If you observe the classification, metal matrix composites, ceramics matrix composite, and polymer matrix composite. What do you mean by metal matrix here? Metal matrix means metal is having the maximum percentage. Ceramic means ceramic matrix means ceramic is having maximum percentage in that composite material. Here, polymer is the maximum percentage in that composite material. As we are discussing only classification, just I code the name of the composite types only. In another video, we will discuss the properties of the materials. So thanks. Thank you for watching. Thank you one and all.